The Apostle Paul is going to close out this epic chapter of Romans chapter 8 for us this morning. And the way he does it is, is really bringing together just all of the assurance that he's been trying to ground for the Christian throughout this chapter. He started back in verse 1 declaring that there is no condemnation for us. There is no uh, legal punishment coming towards us for our sin. It has all been taken in Christ. And as he's moved through the chapter, he's, he's really brought to light just the gift and the joy that it is to be a Christian. Even in the midst of suffering, there is so much hope that we have to hold on to. Hope now and hope that stretches into eternity. And now he, he really wants to drive home this point that we can have absolute assurance and confidence that for those who are in Christ, the work that God has done through his son, Jesus Christ, is absolutely undoable. Nothing will separate us from the love of God. Listen to this in verse 39. For I'm sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Paul is saying he is sure, the word there is convinced. He has been persuaded, actually. He, he once had a, a position where, where he was wavering, but now he is persuaded that, that neither death nor life, so so the, the, the taking of our physical bodies or or the fact that we just remain alive, or, or angels, or rulers, so, so these physical um, uh, um, powers, whether it be authorities, or, or politicians, or spiritual beings, or things present, or things to come, so things that are a reality for us today, the things that we are walking in now, the situations that we are in now, or what is to come tomorrow that we can't even see, or, or powers, so he's talking here about about demonic forces, things which oppose God and the works of God. No height, no depth, nor anything else in all creation. That is like a catch-all. So he's, he's listed out pretty much everything that could work against us or even work for us. Now he catches anything that he might have left or slipped between the gaps by saying basically anything else that there is in existence. None of those things, he says, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. For those who are in Christ Jesus, the love of God that is coming towards us is inseparable. There is nothing that could happen to us today or tomorrow or, or has happened to us that will separate us from the love of God. It is an absolute certainty. So as we close out this chapter, let us be convinced that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And there is nothing there is nothing physically present. There is nothing spiritually present. There is nothing going on in our lives today or anything that could be thrown at us tomorrow that could separate us from the love of God. He's stronger than anything, anything that the world can throw at us, anything that demonic forces can throw at us, anything that we can conjure up in ourselves, whether that be sin, rebellion against God, whatever it is, nothing can separate us from the powerful, gracious love of God.